the Galaxy Buds FE. Let's get into it. Now everybody scream, no respect to the ex. No respect given. So here we have the box for the Buds FE. Um, you always gotta go around the box, see if there's anything of interest. There usually isn't, but um, here it is. Galaxy Buds FE by Samsung. Note the shape of them. They seem to have gone back to the uh, Buds Plus shape with the, with the wingtips for to fit your ears better the current line is more of just a uh, just a regular bud as we've come to know them with a quick round of uh, bud and the ear tips no wing n nothing really there to help hook the bud into your ears and some people do miss that from the galaxy line um, according to the back Triple mic for clear calls, active noise cancelling, comfortable fit, and 6 to 21 hours of playback time. I assume 6 in the buds, and you have an uh, additional 15 hours of charge in the case. Uh, let's, take a, let's open this real quick. I am kind of cur curious about how these things act, actually do fit. Put that there. Uh, just like all the other bugs, it comes in this little paper here to keep everything closed, I assume. Put that to the, the side. And here is the case to the Buds FE. Let me just take a quick look at the two cases. Uh, these are ones I've been currently using the, the Buds 2 Pro. And you can see that the kits are pretty much the same, except for the texture on the Buzz FE. It's a plastic. Uh, this one is more of a soft touch. Uh, I don't know what you would call this material. Now when we open the Buzz, we have the black casing on the inside to contrast the white shell on the outside. It looks quite nice. I do wish there were other color options because as it stands, there's only white on black or white on white. Not even a black on black, which I, I do find odd. Black is a very popular color for these things. Uh, before we sync those up, you see what else is in the box. You see like pretty standard uh, fear here. Uh, I, can get, I can't even get the, the, that out. Okay. No, oh, because it's one piece. All right, that's kind of new. So we have your USB-C to USB-C cable. Uh, these are probably your tips. Yep, you have some extra tips inside the box here. And this here. Well, I'm sorry, these are the wings. You have some extra wings in the box here. And these are the tips. Because I'm so used to it, it, it just being tips because the wings were no longer a thing. I automatically called these tips. No extra wings, extra tips to get that precise feel for your noise cancelling and your comfort. And that seems to be it. Now, unless this can come out some paperwork perhaps? Nope. Samsung has gone one, one step further in giving you that much less in your devices. You don't even get paperwork and, and anymore. Not that, you know, any of us read it, but still. For those who don't know, it's good to have something to let you know. Okay, let's take a look at the buds now. I'm gonna take these out of the case. They look nice, feel nice. Uh, the winds are as I remember them. Yep, they come off just as e easily as my uh, original 
Galaxy Buds and my Buds Plus. Uh, they do they have the little, yep, yeah, right at the bottom they have the little spot where the tips go over to kind of lock them in place so they don't slide around. And that's how you take them off and on, just like that. Um, they're light, but I wouldn't expect them to be much heavier than this. They're just plastic buds af after all. Uh, I guess the real test will be in how they sound. But the look overall is nice. Uh, the uh, flat surface, which is your touch interface. Uh, you have your mics. Actually, I think the mics are down here. But this it has three mics. So one, two, this, oh, three. All right, we have our mics. We have our uh, touch in interface. We're not touching. We have our ch charging pads. These connect to the gold uh, prongs in the case to charge these bad boys up. Then we have the speakers under the tips. Um, here we have uh, where it tracks how close it is to your ear, I assume. So when you pull it out, this piece here, uh, the sensor uh, picks up that, it, that it's not near your skin and will probably pause your music or whatever you have it set to. Also, pretty easy, n n nothing too in intricate, nice little design. Now let's sync these bad boys up and see what we're working with sound-wise. So let's sync these guys up here to my S23 Ultra. Open them up. And it's ready to connect, just like that. Of all the new tech that has come out, the instant connection of your Bluetooth earbuds to your device has been one of the best ones. Now it's downloading the software. That was actually pretty quick. And uh, it should allow us to use these guys instantaneously for your review I agree to everything let's go so looking at the app um it seems it's not much different from the other Sam, Samsung apps that I've come across uh, we have right here check out the tips for the best fit you have your noise control right now it's off because I'm not playing anything they do come with active noise cancelling and am ambient sound. You can adjust the touch controls, you have your earbud settings, find my earbuds, and the user manual, which is usually on papers in the box, is now on the device. No, nice way to help with the environment. Um, let's take a quick look in here. You have your fit test, uh, read notifications out loud, Bixby voice, wake up, uh, use am ambient sound during calls, you can hear what's going on uh, around you. Uh, and seamless earbud connection. That probably means it will go from my phone to my tablet to any other sampling device I m may have. And it works actually pretty well. I can really uh, watch be watching something on my tablet. I, I, when my phone rings, uh, the bud will switch over to the phone if I press to connect to the call. So it works almost seem just the slight pause there, but it's great to have. And of course, up top you have your equalizer for those who want to adjust how their songs sound. Very uh, straightforward, nothing out of the ordinary. But it's always good when these buds do have an app that has all these different functions and features to them. Have I have come across a few bare bones uh, app applications for these buds, which have n not much more than the ability to change the track, the name of the track, and perhaps uh, change which side does pause and play. So good on Samsung, as always, for being a, a much more thorough with your Buds application. So, playing music on the Galaxy Buds FE is, you know, 
a bit of a mixed bag if I'm to be honest. The first thing was, or is, I'm surprised how uh, dominant the bass is. Now, I haven't changed the equalizer in any way, shape, or form. So, when you throw on your hip hop, um, the bass kind of almost drowns out the rest of the in instrument. And with the voice, it kind of smothers it. I'm, I'm not sure why they chose that sound profile for these. I guess, you know, people do like their bass. There's nothing wrong with that. But it's, it, to me, at least, it's a bit much on that low end. Um, when you do uh, uh, just a, or change uh, me, me, musical genres, um, it, it does sound better. Because these things do sound good. Just that default setting is a little bit um, extra. But they do sound good. Uh, the, sep the musical sep separation is, is great. You, you can hear the various instruments and the direction that they are coming from. It's actually, again, a little sur surprising for the cost of these earbuds. Um, Samsung did a really good job with that. They really put all, everything you need and then a little bit more that you might want into a very budget friendly bud. Um, other genres, like I said, sound great. Uh, I've went through an entire audiobook wearing these these things, and again, no adjustment to uh, the e equalizer at all. And the various characters sound did sound great. Uh, it was one of those books where it was more like a performance, where they had uh, background music and sound effects, and where the director or the author, whoever is in charge of these things, want the sounds to come from, you did hear them. A, uh, a standout one was they, they were in a uh, cellar of sorts, and the character was talking to a, another character, and a third character was in the background. When asked a question, he spoke in a, in a very echoey way, and uh, the budget were able to interpret that and you heard the man behind you even though it's an audio book so it worked out actually really well these things are pretty amazing for what they are well day two of using the buds fe and uh i have some thoughts first of all the uh noise canceling uh is not as potent as i thought it would be where it even should be. Um, I really had to listen to hear if it canceled out certain sounds. Uh, it's, not, it's not as good as some of the other noise canceling earbuds I've used, but of course I have to keep that in perspective because this is also much more affordable than some of the other noise canceling earbuds that I have used. But um, if you really want something to drown out all the background noise of the if you're on public transportation, if you're at a park, if you're at a coffee house and people just keep on talking and you want some quiet time to y yourself, these don't do the best job. Um, a lot still comes in. Uh, I do hear a difference. It's almost like someone turned down the outside as opposed to all the budgets, someone turned off the outside if you understand what I'm saying. So there is a, not a noticeable difference, but it's not what I would have hoped for. Um, as far as ambient sound, these do work pretty well. Um, when I was out and, and about, I did turn it on, and I, like most other uh, earbuds, they magnified the outside world. I was actually hearing more and hearing better with these in as opposed to just having uh, no earbuds in at all. These do sound artificial, like you can hear that the air is pumping in the outside world and it's noted civil. Um, there is a, almost like a <laughs> static with what you are hearing. 
when it, it comes to ambient noise or the ambient sound coming into these earbuds. So it, it does work. It's not as clean as many others, but it's suitable. You know, it's more than use, usable. And again, you need to keep in perspective the price point you can get these for. One annoying feature that I found with these is um, ear fatigue. I haven't had to experience ear fatigue with a pair of buds in a very long time. And uh, surprisingly, these did cause that effect. Um, I think I was wearing them for maybe two, three hours. Uh, and uh, my left ear, the ear that holds on to the uh, buds properly, did begin to ache. Uh, like a throb, almost. So it's not something that you want to use for extended periods of time. Uh, maybe it was because the wing tips I have don't fit uh, correctly. Perhaps it's the uh, the ear ear tips themselves. But the ear fatigue definitely did set in when wearing these. Now with my other buds, again more high end buds. Uh, let's just say the buds Pro Two or uh, the Sand. Heisers or newer pros you can wear uh, surface earbuds you can wear those for hours on end some of them you, you forget that you are wearing them and you feel fine so keep that in mind if you happen to get these that at least with me it did cause me some discomfort when playing them but again Keep in mind what you pay for them. Now the buds have the ability to switch the audio source automatically. As you see here, I switched to my Galaxy Tab Ultra and you saw that the buds did connect to the Ultra because I was playing a show. Now I'm going to switch back to my video on my phone and as I go in closer you see that the buds switch back to my phone. It's a very simple uh, feature that these buds have, but makes it so much easier to use them with multiple devices. No need to sync and unsync, they just sync to the device you're using at that time for a better audio experience. Now when watching your shows, the buds are actually quite well. The 3D simulated sound works very well. Like in with this particular show, I'm hearing the fire on the side. Uh, I'm hearing the voices come from the front. There's an ominous uh, hum in the background to help build the tension during this conversation. And all that is being uh, sent through the buds actually pretty well. Now, as always, there are many buds that do it better than these. And that seems to be the consistent theme of these buds. These do everything to an extent. But if you have the means to get something that cost a little more you will get a better experience from those but these here are completely suitable for your needs because they work so very well now when you are gaming it does have the ability to make sure that the audio is synced now here I have not only a game going <laughs> but a show going as well and it is doing a very good job of separating the audio tracks from both of these and it sounds actually really good I'm hearing the explosions I'm hearing the monsters uh, scream when I execute them uh, shots are going to my left and and my right and it's just you know actually pretty impressive what these little earbuds can do and this is from two different odd audio feeds so again the FE line does prove what they set out to do well the Galaxy Buds FE as you can see they are in my ear I'm on a quick little break here I was playing some music um they are actually pretty good earbuds now like i said before you get what you pay for 
In most cases, though, with these, I do feel you are getting a little bit more. Um, yes, you could get, let's say, the Buds 2 Pro, um, oh, the Buds Pro in general. Just, you know, even non-Samsung earbuds, many of which have the same functionality as these. But, all of those buds, from the Samsung to the Sony to the Sennheisers to the Arc Technica, all of them, cost significantly more. And I think that's what you need to think about when you consider these. These are value buds that hit much higher than their price range, very similar to the Echo Buds I reviewed a few months back. But those did cost less than these. But the difference is clear in the buds. With those, you didn't get the noise canceling. You didn't get the ambient sound or the water proofing or the suite of Samsung specific functions that these buds can do when you have them synced to a Samsung phone, tablet, and other Samsung audio devices. So for what you get with the Bugs FE, it is a really good deal. Um, I do wish they came in other colors, let's say maybe a purple, I'm just throwing that out there. But for, again, the black that I have does go quite well with my Pokeball. Can't, can't argue with that. And again, they actually sound pretty good. Yes, there are earbuds that sound better, but you will pay for the additional clarity and the deeper bass and the better noise canceling. You no, know, there is a price to pay for better features. But for what you get with these, you will not be upset, especially if you use uh, some of the Samsung discounts that they have on their site. You can easily get these for around 60 bucks. That is amazing. That's 10 bucks more than the Echo Buds. And these are much better than the e Echo Buds. And that is what? A third of the price or less than some of the higher end ones. So Buds FE really do what they claim or what they set out to do. Give you a great pair of earbuds at a budget friendly price. The whole FE line, that is the mission of them. From the S23 FE to the S9 Tab FE or the Tab S9 FE and the Buds FE all hit all the marks of the, their higher end brethren but at a much more affordable price and with a functionality that you will not be upset with. So with that said, my name is NG, the Neon X, and actually really enjoying these Buds FE. Flaws and all, this is what I'm into.